Hi everyone. I thought this week we could visit the ocean and learn about some different parts of the ocean and different things that live in the ocean. Today I'm going to start with a book that is a beginning reader, Smart Words, Coral Reefs. It's by Rebecca Roberts and published by Scholastic Books. You'll see this is a nonfiction book. It begins with a table of contents. Chapter one, we're going to find out what exactly a coral reef is. Then we'll learn in chapter two about life at the coral reef. Chapter three, people in coral reefs. And then there's a glossary at the end. This book does have some activities in it, so you can always stop the, the uh, video and complete those if you would like. Chapter one, what is a coral reef? You see something very bright in the ocean. It looks like an underwater garden. What is it? It's a reef, coral reef. A reef is a hilly area made out of coral. It comes up from the ocean floor, lettuce coral. You might think corals look like plants or rocks, but they are animals like jellyfish or sea anemones. Smart words, coral, a tiny animal that lives in ocean colonies, reef, an area of the sea made out of coral. A coral's body. A single coral is called a polyp. A polyp is very small. It can be as small as a grain of rice. The body of a polyp is shaped like a tube. It has a mouth on one end. The other end sticks to the coral. I'm gonna bring this in closer so you can get a better look at that. Corals live in a group called a colony. Each colony is made of many simple polyps. Different colonies grow together to form a coral reef. Smart words, colony, group of the same kind of animal living together, polyp, single coral animal. Hard and soft. Corals can be hard or soft, Hard corals have a hard skeleton. It is the base of their body. Hard coral polyps form reefs. Let's look at that diagram of the coral polyp body. You can see it has tentacles. Look where the mouth is and the skeleton. It's hard to imagine a living creature that looks like that because it looks so different from us. There you can see a zoom in of hard corals, and there's a soft coral. Soft corals do not have a hard skeleton. They do not form reefs. Some hard and soft corals have tentacles around their mouths. Tentacles help the coral get food. The tentacles can also sting animals that might hurt the coral. Tentacles catch an octopus. See the octopus in there that it caught? Smart words. Skeleton, hard material that supports the body of an animal. Tentacles, body parts that help corals get food. So we have a skeleton, we have a, that hard material, our bones that support us. Some corals have them, the hard ones do, the soft ones do not. Building a reef. How do coral reefs grow? Coral skeletons stay on the reef after the corals die. The skeletons become like rock. The new live, or excuse me, new living corals stick to the rock. When those corals die, new corals grow on them. Coral reefs grow very slowly. Most grow less than an inch a year. That's only about the length of a paper clip. Maybe your parents have kept track of how much you grow in a year. So coral only grows that much in a year. I know some of you grow faster than that. If you wanna stop and look uh, at the 
definitions here of these smart words. You can find out where they go in this puzzle. How about this? Can you label the parts of the coral, the tentacles, the mouth, and the skeleton? If you don't remember, you can back the video up and go to the page that had that diagram. Chapter two, life at the coral reef. There are coral reefs in different parts of the world. Most reefs grow in warm seas and oceans. Corals eat the tiny plants and animals that live in warm water. Algae are plants that corals eat. Algae can also grow inside the coral's body. It is what gives corals their color. Algae turns sunlight into energy for the coral. That is why coral reefs grow in clear, shallow water where sunlight can reach. Algae, sun shines on a reef. Smart word, algae, small plants that coral eat. If you look here, let me zoom in on the map. Look at the yellow areas. You can see those are where coral reefs grow. Do they grow where we live? A city under the sea. Coral reefs are home to many animals and plants. Sometimes reefs are called the big cities of the ocean because so many different plants and animals live there. Sea stars, anemones, crabs, and giant snails can be found in coral reefs. Many kinds of small fish eat algae that grow on the reef. Parrotfish eating coral. Parrotfish even eat the coral itself. Larger sea turtles and sharks come to the reef to eat the fish they find there. Living together at the reef. Many plants and animals at, the re at coral reefs help one another. Clownfish hide in the tentacles of sea anemones to keep safe. The fish help anemones by scaring away other fish that want to eat anemones. Clownfish and sea anemone. Some tiny crabs make their homes in the reef. They also clean the coral. This helps keep coral reefs healthy. These are trapezoid crabs. Types of reefs. The most common reef is a fringe reef. It grows out from the shore in shallow water. An atoll is a reef that grows in the shape of a ring. A barrier reef is separated from the land by water. This makes a border or barrier between the ocean and the shore. This is the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia is the world's largest coral reef ecosystem. Astronauts can see it from outer space. Barrier Reef, reef that is separated from the shore by water. Ecosystem, all living and non-living things in an area. Here are some more smart words. You can pause, see if you can find the correct word for each sentence. Talk like a scientist. Explain to a friend how a coral reef is home to sea animals. Describe the ways that a reef is like your own home. Then describe how it is different from your home. Can you match the three reefs to the picture? Chapter three, people and coral reefs. People enjoy visiting coral reefs and seeing their beauty. But reefs are important to people in other ways, too. Many people live by the sea. Coral reefs, can, coral reefs can help keep their homes safe. Reefs block large waves caused by storms. People get fish from coral reefs. It is important for people not to take too many fish. This could harm the ecosystem. Threats to reefs. Coral reefs face many threats. Some of these threats are natural. Some threats are caused by people. Waves crashing over a reef. Reefs can be broken. Big waves sometimes break apart coral reefs. 
Careless scuba divers, boats, and some kinds of fishing gear can harm reefs. Our oceans are getting warmer. Some corals die when the ocean gets too warm. Pollution in the ocean from fuel and farms can cause algae to leave a reef. Without algae, corals may become sick or die. You can see this unhealthy coral is not colorful. Pollution, something that makes water or air dirty. Threat, thing that can cause harm. Saving reefs. People try to conserve coral reefs in many ways. Boats and people are not allowed to go to some reefs. When they stay away, they cannot hurt the coral. Here a scientist studies coral reef. Some scientists study coral reefs. They are finding ways to conserve these ecosystems. People are helping reefs that have been harmed they grow new corals on ropes, nets, and pipes underwater. Then they put the new coral into reefs that need help. Smart word, conserve, protect, and save. How can I help? You can help coral reefs too. Never take coral from a reef. Do not buy coral from a gift shop. Keep the ocean clean. Put your litter in a trash can or recycling bin. Do not leave it on the beach. Share what you have learned about coral reefs. Let others know that coral reefs are beautiful and, and important part. Sorry. Let others know that coral reefs are a beautiful and important part of our world. Here you can put these smart words in or list some ways to help coral reefs and some things that hurt them. Talk like a scientist. Use your smart words to explain to your family how reefs are important to people. And here are all those smart words. You can pause here, look at those, use those to help tell someone about coral reefs. There are a few more on the back.